Thanks, Adam. I appreciate the uh, the intro. I'm here to present the the Lou uh, the Donovic Award uh, that I was the award winner last year. Um, I'm Paul Jakewith. I'm the CEO of Mental Health America and Florida Initiative for Suicide Prevention. Um, I was honored to receive this award last year. It means a lot to me because I knew Lou personally, and and Lou was a gentleman that that um, helped us here at, at MHA years ago, uh, and he was a larger than life character. Um, and and uh, I can't think of a better or a more aptly named award than this award in honor of Lou and his memory, because Lou was the loudest voice in the room, uh, a great advocate. Um, and I know that this this award goes to that individual that, that um, has really worked uh, to to ensure that, that people are advocated uh, for, um, and, and this year's award winner is Jill Hardvaki Friedman, um, and Dr. Jill has been um, uh, a, a great advocate for people with uh, mental health issues. She's a, she's worked in the suicide prevention field uh, for many years, and she's the senior vice president of research for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. She's been a pioneer in suicide research, um, and she was actually the first researcher to ask high school students about suicidal ideation and behavior. Uh, she leads the AFSP uh, research grant program, and she works with over 200 scientific advisors to evaluate, pro evaluate progress in the field and chart the next areas of inquiry to yield insightful uh, impactful insights and strategies for suicide prevention. Her work with Star Coalition, uh, she's, pr she's been there from the beginning. Um, she's also uh, on the advocacy board. Uh, she's the first to volunteer her time uh, for anything that, that the Star Coalition needs. Um, Dr. Jill has worked with Mallory uh, to create podcasts. Um, uh, a podcast that was very informative and helped spread awareness on suicide prevention, life after loss, and resources for individuals struggling with mental health. She's volunteered many hours of her time to ensure the, the podcast was thoughtful and showed that the need for further research for suicide prevention exists. Uh, she deserves this award for her passion for mental health advocacy, her insight on innovative change, and opportunities within mental health research and a willingness to help support everyone within the coalition with her time, expertise, and ideas. She always makes time to support and promote the STAR Coalition, regardless of how busy she is. Uh, and she's been an integral uh, part in answering questions about re, uh, new legislation, uh, helping coalition members understand how they can uh, support 988. So, it's with great honor that I hand this award to the next person in line, um, Dr. Jill. Um, and I think that Mallory had a couple of words that she wanted to add to these words. So congratulations, Dr. Jill. I can't think of a better recipient. Thank you.